Hello everybody, today I'm bringing you guys some more match analysis, and today we have Nuts So Fast versus Freaky Spider. And yeah, so I'm hoping that the elemental sounds won't kill this, because they have some pretty crazy sound. Get out of that fog of war, bad split. Right there, bye. Bye. I'm just gonna call him Spidey, because I'm, yeah. Yeah, Spidey. Yeah, well, we're the Freaky. Freaky Spider. Bad split by Freaky Spider. No idea what he's trying to accomplish by leaving his sword hanging back there. But let's see. I mean, it's it's an early Ellie game on Castle. All he's doing is spamming the earth right now. There would have, I think that would have been a good time to, um, to attempt to pounce. I mean, you lost your earth anyway, so you pretty much wasted hits. You, know, you pretty much, yeah, you wasted the time where you could have gotten hits on. And right there you're gonna get a good trap, which he abandons because he's worried. And the sword runs away yet again. Yeah, so pretty much, I mean, you could have, you would have still gotten the same outcome if you would have ran with the arch. Well, uh, yeah, I understand. Let's just say that you could have actually gotten, gotten something out of it. A little more than you did. You could have had a decent trade. <laughs> but yeah, the two hit archer kill, pretty good. It's really hard to avoid on this map because of how short it is. They can shoot to uh, like dead in the center of the tower. So of course, um, Freaky Spider still going in with the still going in with the basic the basic approach of archers and swords. He's gonna hand up with both of his sword and garrisoned at the moment. He's gonna garrison his archer just to keep it at keep it at its fullest possible health, which is a good idea. And now not so fast is getting an air, which is a good idea. But with with the archer spam, I do not know if he is capable of keeping it alive. It's the only thing that I'm worried about. Back here, where he has um the castle there. This is about the best thing that he's got going for. So a smart pull back there. He's gonna get the swords or a sword. He's gonna get a sword. Which is a good thing, but he does lose a couple miners, so good play on Freaky Spider's part. He's continuing to load into swords and archers, and I suspect rage. Rage rather soon. Well, that's what I personally would do. I mean, you have enough, you have enough money for a spear and rage. Get rage. So, of course, the good move on the Charog tank. So, here's proved to be the best option in this situation. In this situation, his, um, the fire would have been dead. So, he's actually going to get a good, a good zap on the archer there. And he does have hustle, which is something that, that freaky over here does not have. But he, he does have the DPS advantage. And um, he also has the most power melee wise. Current, well, not current. Because of the Charog health, is more than a Spears. So, therefore, I believe it all. I'm not exactly sure. But it may do more damage. I'm not sure on that. Don't. 
don't think you should trust me. But as you can see, the airs are really working in a not so fast favor. Because he's managing So there's another zap on the archer. So, you know, obviously, he's going to have to keep getting archers. I mean, uh, the the effectiveness of a V based on its its cost is not very high. So he's not going to get a V, so it'd be fine for it'd be fine for free getting a V. doesn't exactly have the greatest economy just because everything all they need is a good amount of mana and just so they can stabilize the combinations and the only thing they have to buy I mean the most expensive thing the most expensive base unit that is bought is well, I don't agree with that pullback I would have I personally would have gone and tried to get these two miners on the back, which he's capable of with the amount of errors, I do believe. So, Freaky Spiders came back in population pretty well. I wouldn't be surprised to, um, to see some. is not ridiculous anymore. So, it used to be you'd get one hit on the archer in the jar on the burn damage. So right there, this is the as far as you can go. This is Inferno. So I mean, these, the meteorites, they'll, they'll kill your opponent. They will kill your opponent. And he did, he did worst thing you can possibly do. That cost him the game. Nobody really got above 60 population anyway. But yeah, if he rains down if he rains down the fire stuff, it's easier just to go back right away. Because if you go forward, you're pouring your archers at a greater risk from your opponent's melee unit, and you you have ruined any chance of you to retreat. And then then you also have have ruined ruined pretty much your archers' lives by going forward. But if you go back right away, I mean, yes, your, some of your archers probably will suffer from a little bit of, of the rain, but it will not be as game-changing as if you did what he did and do the little run around, run around sort of thing and then run back over, run back over the meteor, meteor coal stuff. And let your whole entire ar let let the core of your army burn to death. So yeah, GG for these two. Um, more well played by not so fast there with the Infernos. But overall, a really nice game. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.